the political move in Florida at the urging of Governor Ron DeSantis, the Florida State Senate voting to terminate Disney's self-governing privileges in Florida after Disney took a stand on the controversial new law in that state that opponents have labeled the Don't Say Gay Law. Disney, of course, is our parent company, and ABC's Victor Akendo is in Florida tonight. Tonight, at the urging of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, the Republican-controlled state Senate voting to strip the Walt Disney Company of the special status, granting it self-governing privileges in Walt Disney World and the surrounding areas. 24 yeas, 15 nays, Mr. President. So the bill passes. The move is an effort to punish Disney for publicly opposing Florida's so-called Don't Say Gay law, which restricts how teachers can discuss LGBTQ issues in the classroom. Governor DeSantis has lashed out at corporate America for attacking the law. This state is governed by the interests of the people of the state of Florida. It is not based on the demands of California corporate executives. Disney CEO Bob Chapek at first took a neutral stance on the controversial law. Then, after protests from some Disney employees, Chapek denouncing the legislation. Disney releasing a statement saying, our goal as a company is for this law to be repealed by the legislature or struck down in the courts. That didn't sit well with DeSantis, who this week announced the state legislature would move to strip Disney of its ability to govern itself in Florida. They also will be considering termination of all special districts that were enacted in Florida prior to 1968, and that includes the Reedy Creek Improvement District. The district was carved out in 1967 in a deal negotiated by Walt Disney and his family. It allows Disney to provide its own services like firefighting and waste disposal and avoid many local regulations and taxes. But tonight, one top Florida Republican tweeting, Disney is a guest in Florida. Today, we remind them. Disney World, also the biggest single-site employer in the state. Democrats today denouncing DeSantis. This bill is a knee-jerk reaction and a political stunt, which is short-sighted and not well thought out. Also raising concerns, local communities who have benefited from Florida's arrangement with Disney, they may have to administer these public services themselves and pay for them too. They could become responsible for up to a billion dollars of debt. The mayor of Orange County saying his eye is on unfunded cost shifts to local governments. And the Florida House is scheduled to vote on this tomorrow. Governor DeSantis is expected to sign. There's no comment from the Walt Disney Company tonight. Again, this is the biggest private employer in the state with some 20 million people visiting Walt Disney World every year. David. Victor Akendo in Florida tonight. Victor, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.